This is Vision Pro and here is Pico Vision, a new high-end headset with an incredible resolution. Just look at this view. And with just one click, I can open my Mac desktop and drag my spatial computer screen wherever I want. It is the sharpest desktop I have ever seen. I think it is for two reasons. First, it is Apple desktop with high PPI screen and UI. But number two, this headset is running super sampling everywhere. So not only the screen, but the whole environment looks super sharp and detailed. And we have a lot of these new environments. I think the main idea is like we have seen in Apple commercials. Basically, I can travel to a spaceship to watch a Star Wars movie from Apple TV. You're under arrest, Chancellor. <laughs> and I think it's a pretty cool idea. Here I'm watching a Harry Potter in a magic classroom with all ghosts and magic flying and happening around. I think it's a really simple but great idea to enhance your movie experience. Beyond just a 3D movie screen, with things jumping in and out. Of course, if you can have a Mac screen, you can have your iPad or any Apple device here too now. I can scroll through my pictures and I could even enter those pictures and videos. If only I had any captured in the new spatial view. And this is only the first part using the headset for Mac and PC apps. Next, Pico officially embraces using the headset for PC VR. Here you can see a dedicated Steam VR button. And again, even menus look so much sharper and better overall over anything I had ever seen on my old Pico 4 or the Quest 3. Even these colors and details, everything is just better. Again, the sharpest VR chat view I have ever seen and it's actually not even destroying my PC right now. Unlike the Oculus Link or virtual desktop, when playing at these ridiculous resolutions. And this is because Pico is running image sharpening and super sampling, similar to the Nvidia DLSS, upscaling your view without a big hit on the performance. And this time, super sampling actually works. Unlike everything else I have tried until now, so Pico definitely has cooked some magic in this area, just like with a full body tracking. So let me grab my beta trackers. I will do a quick calibration. And let me show my Steam VR legs. I can click here and step into my virtual shoes. And here I can move my virtual legs. And tracking works surprisingly well. I got a B score from my first attempt. And guys, I have been lying about the new headset. I'm actually playing on my old Pico 4 but it feels like a whole headset upgrade just after a software update. Just look at these colors and sharpness. It looks like a proper tiger skin now on my gun, with popping orange and texture details almost resembling fur. As the whole view is so sharp now, no pixelation to the very edges. It looks even sharper than on the Quest 3 standalone and it consumes twice less power trying to put this super sampling high resolution. And I did a separate video on a new Sugar Mess video game here showing how the new Pico standalone games are sharp as on the Quest 3 simply because of this new software update with standalone game upscaling. And for PC VR, Pico 4 is hands down 
the ultimate experience now. The sharpest and the best image I have seen from all the headsets I have used so far. So yeah, I'm super happy with this free headset upgrade from Pico. It seems like this move to cancel the Pico 5 to let concentrate on delivering the best high-end experience to compete with Apple, not Meta, turning out to be the best decision from Biden. In real time, right in front of your eyes. Low delivery, great ball inside! A stunning new way to use the apps we love. We want like a real and next generation headset with eye tracking and new OLED screen and stuff like that, not some half stop gap rubbish like the Quest 3 is, not being able to compete even with the old Pico 4. And lastly, I'm running a closed beta version in this video, so you will not find many of the shown features in the public 5.9 firmware. And 5.9 firmware fixes verification workaround for side loading games. So again, be careful and do not update if you want to keep playing all side loaded stuff. Or if you are like me, who plays mostly PC VR games anyway, I think this is the best update and it should come public in just a few weeks. Take a pet like no problem, right? Not afraid at all. That's a great dog right there.